I'll load it up at the car. Here we are. This is Salmon Creek Regional Park. And I am just parking here because I don't want to pay the fee to park at the uh, Klein Line Pond next door. It's like three bucks for parking or something like that. Why do that when I can just walk a quarter of a mile? Anyway, this is the same park that uh, I posted from before. Uh, <clears throat> we are along Salmon Creek. Now it looks like there's some good fishing down in there. However, I was looking at the regulations. The only thing open in there right now is coho and chinook salmon. And then there's a bunch of regulations on it. It has to be hatchery and it has to be at least 12 inches. And you can only have two adults and this and that. And I don't know enough about my fish to want to deal with any of that today. So I'm headed up to the pond. I'm going uh, to try to go for some trout instead. All right. It's just a few minutes walk and here I am. There's the pond. Clearly I'm not the only one that's had the idea to go fishing here today. There's more down there too. That's where the deepest part is too, is down over that way. A little crowded back there, so I'm headed around to this end. There's geese hanging out. What's up, geese? How you guys doing? Is that right? I'm not intimidated by you anymore. I'm not a little boy. I did have one of these guys come after me when I was a little kid. I choose to not be traumatized by it. Apparently there's benches here, so the stool that I brought was unnecessary, but that's alright. Don't really bother. So here's all my stuff. Here's the water. I talked to a couple of fishermen already that uh, they were bottom fishing in here and didn't have any luck. They tried a few different kinds of bait. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some bobber fishing and maybe a little bit of lure. Let's see what happens. Alright. So I got a power bait trout worm, dropper weight, and a bobber on here. I rubbed some power bait onto the worm because it smells like rubber otherwise. I don't have an awful lot of hope that this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then I'm going to try some lure work afterwards. And it's tinkling, so I don't know if I want to leave my camera out. All right, it's out there. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, so the pond was kind of a bust. Got a call from my buddy though, Todd. Came some places, you may know him. Maybe not, I don't know. But this guy you see in a lot of my videos. Anyway, he gave me a tip that there's another pond over here. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you which one though. I'm not gonna show you because it's a secret. But uh, apparently the fishing's better over there. Uh, when it floods, steelhead smelt get washed up into it and landlocked. So there should be some uh, trout slash steelhead in there. He recommended using a spinner. But it's really overcast and the light is fading. I don't know what kind of luck I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Maybe I'll try spinning in the creek, see if I can hook a salmon or something, see how it goes. All right, I'm here. Alright, 
this is more where Todd was telling me to go to begin with. It's just the other spot was closer. Takers on that cast. That's the first time I've ever cast two falls. Seeming like anybody's interested. something. Hey. Yeah, I do. do with it now. I didn't bring anything to carry fish. Time to get creative. All right, he's off the line and he's dead. Let's keep going. One fish is going to do it. We'll pack up and get out of here. One more look at them. For the public park system, dog poop bags. Save my ass. <laughs> anyway, I'm all packed up. Going to head home. Wife said she's never had trout before. So we're going to make this a special treat. So what I've got is a little sheet of plywood. Wow. 
basic idea right there. Clean that up. That really going to take these fins off. That's right, you heard me. I'm taking the fins off. You want the fins? No. Removing the fins. Mm. Oh, I got to turn the camera off. You want to help me with that? Here? There, yes. for a few until it's ready. Alright, while well, that's going, we're going to go ahead and throw some bolt bay on this, keep it simple. I'm not going to go crazy on it like I did last time though. Honestly, that's probably good enough. Alright, the grill's ready. Looks like it's getting a little dark though. So it kind of curled up on me. I guess because it's so small. Maybe it got too hot. I don't know. Anyway, I turned it over and moved it over to the side. Let it finish. Alright, I think she's done. Oops, steam coming off of there. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Whew, we are fogging up. Okay. Alright, gonna dig in. Thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Uh, this is gonna be the first time I've actually recorded one of these outros. I always mean to and then I don't. So, anyway, if you enjoyed what you see, like, subscribe, subscribe share, do all of that stuff. And uh, we'll see you again soon.